order to create a cron job for the visual cron server, we'll need a minimum of six uh, requirements. Uh, the time interval for the cron job is supposed to run Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8.15. The client name, a link to the project in C4, which can be used in the email notification in case of an error. The URL for a script that will execute the cry job. Any additional parameters required for the script to run. And the person or persons to receive the error message in case of failure. This is the Visual Cron Server interface. Once you have successfully logged in, you'll need to create your new Cron job. Do this by hitting Add Job. Add the client's name. And a brief description. From there, you'll need to enter a trigger, which causes the cry job to run. Normally, this is a time trigger set at an interval. Give a name for this interval. As a cry job can have several tasks run at different times. This particular task of the crime job will run daily at 5 p.m. All times are Eastern Standard Time on the Crown server. The next thing we'll do is add the task itself. For a URL task, we will be using the NEC HTTP method. We will give this task a name. Then we will place in the URL of the task we want to run. Any additional parameters can be added here. If you wish to save a copy of the file, select Save Content, and browse to the folder path. Currently on the Visual Cron server, we save all Cron files in the public directory. Auto name the file so no two files are overwrite. Leave the default error trapping on. It's the best practice to continue to the next task in order if you have multiple tasks in the job. We're, we don't use any timeouts because some jobs may take longer to run and say okay. You have now successfully added your job.
for notification, edit the job. Select notification and create a notification error. This one's already been created, so we'll just edit. We'll give the name something familiar so they show up in this list and are easy to know. The from email is always no reply at mcftech.com. Give a subject to the email that defines the client's name. Enter the email addresses. If you're adding more than one, separate them by semicolons. On the message body, enter in a brief message explaining there was an error. It's a good practice to enter a link to the project. For error description, use the variable button. Navigate to visual cron errors and jobs. Find the job you created. Navigate to the specific task you are sending an error on. From there, navigate to the available variables you wish to include in your message. For this one, we're going to include the exit code description. Once highlighted, copy it to the clipboard. And paste it in the contact message and click OK. You can test your job or you can select OK and run the job from the main menu. Just right mouse click and select Run Job. In the lower right hand corner you'll see the job run. The output will tell you what's going on. This job has failed. You can view the log and see the, the script wasn't found. The person's receiving the email should have a notification in their email box from the message you just sent with the link to the job and the attached file. That's it.